Hello, readers. Today, we're going to be reading 5-Minute Amelia Bedelia Stories, Part 3. Two days ago, we read Amelia Bedelia Makes a Friend. Yesterday, we read Amelia Bedelia Sleeps Over. Today, we're going to be reading Amelia Bedelia Hits the Trail on page 37. Now, let me find page 37. All right, here we go. Amelia Bedelia Hits the Trail. Amelia Bedelia was going hiking. Her entire class was going too. Let's hit the trail, said Miss Edwards, Amelia Bedelia's teacher. The group set out. It was a beautiful day, and soon their school was just a speck in the distance. The trail was steep. Everyone stepped over a big tree root. Splat! Amelia Bedelia was chatting and looking up at the birds, and oops! Amelia Bedelia fell flat on her face. Splat! Are you okay? asked Miss Edwards. I'm okay, said Amelia Bedelia, brushing herself off. But the next time I hit the trail, I'll use this stick instead of my face. Amelia Bedelia and her friends spotted lots of interesting living and living things along the trail. They saw a deer and a rabbit. They saw squirrels and chipmunks. They saw insects crawling along the ground and flying in the air. Birds chirped in the trees. When the snake slithered out of the grass and crossed the trail, Chip let out a yell. Relax, said Penny. The snake is more scared of you than you are of it. The class slo walked slowly. There was so much to see and explore, and they didn't want to miss anything. Let's move a little faster, said Miss Edwards. Pick up your snail pace. Amelia Bedelia looked for a snail with a pace to pick up. She hunted in the leaves and under bushes and rocks. Maybe she could find one for the class classroom nature table. Oh, I can see a snail. I'm hungry, said Clay. Can we eat now? Miss Edwards read the trail map. Look, there's a stream ahead, she said. We can stop there for a bite. I have lots of bites, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia had noticed that the bugs certainly seemed to like her. It was itching all over. I can see water, said Penny. The, the class raced to the stream. We'll, we'll eat lunch on the bank. Find a spot and dig in, said Miss Edwards. Amelia Bedelia didn't see a bank or even a cash machine. Was there treasure buried here? Why else would Miss Edwards tell them to dig in? Everyone unpacked their picnics and enjoyed food in the sun. A gentle breeze made the flowers dance in, the sh in their stems. The class listened to the birds and walked water gently flowing by the bank. Finally, it was time to go back to school. Wade was the last to finish his lunch. Let's go, Wade, said Miss Edwards impatiently. Yay, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia took off her shoes and socks and wadded right into the stream. Soon everyone was splashing with Amelia Bedelia. Even Miss Edwards joined the fun. As they walked back down the trail, everyone found things for the nature table. Daisy picked a daisy. Holly plucked a sprig of holly. Rose found a wild rose. Amelia Bedelia picked up a fallen leaf. leaves. What did you find, Amelia Bedelia? asked Miss Edwards. These are my leaves, said Amelia Bedelia. Miss Edwards smiled. When you, when you have more than one leaf, you say leaves, she said. 
That made sense to Amelia Bedelia. In the fall, every leaf had to leave its tree. It, it was how they got ready for the winter. Amelia Bedelia knew that from now on, she wouldn't think of leaf falling off a tree. She would think it was leaving its tree. That made much more sense. Nice leaves, said Skip. When he saw the bunch Amelia Bedelia was carrying, you have a maple oak and a chestnut. Skip knew a lot about trees. What is the red one? asked Amelia Bedelia. Uh-oh, said Skip. Look out, that's poison ivy. Yeah! Yeah! shouted Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia threw the leaves up in the air. Her leaves were her leaves were leaving again. Skip laughed so hard he fell on the ground. I was joking, he said. He grabbed his stomach and rolled around. Amelia Bedelia was not laughing. She didn't think Skip's, jo Skip's joke was funny at all. Maybe you should take a hike, said Skip. I am, said Amelia Bedelia, and now thanks to you, I don't have anything for the na nature table. Amelia Bedelia's lip trembled. I'm sorry, Amelia Bedelia, said Skip. He helped Amelia Bedelia pick up her leaves. Hold still, said Skip, said S Skip said. He was looking back her with an expression on his face. Are you teasing again? asked Amelia Bedelia. No, you have a hitchhiker, said Skip. He pointed at a caterpillar. It was crawling on Amelia Bedelia's backpack. Nature tale. Things we found on our hike. Wow, said Amelia Bedelia. When the class returned to school, Miss Edwards set up a nature table in their classroom. They displayed flowers and pine cones and sticks and rocks and feathers and acorns. Everything had uh, collected on the, on the hike. Amelia Bedelia's caterpillar was the star of the nature table. When it was the star of Amelia Bedelia's classroom, until it hit the trail, turned into a butterfly. Stay tuned for tomorrow, readers, because tomorrow we're going to be reading Amelia Bedelia Tries Her Luck. Thanks for watching, readers. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.